I'm proud to present to you guys this potentially life-saving system. <laughs> Please follow the light. I can find your dog, I can find your gerbil, I can find your hamster, I can find your dog, I can find your... I've also made it work with smart stair lights, night lights, dildos, for science. We need a sex doll. Okay. When I first made Evie, very basic system. All she did was when my neighbor needed help, she just had a speaker and the speaker just said kitchen. That's all it did. That's all the, that's all the system said. It wasn't super advanced or anything. It just detected where someone was in the room. Now, I've since then adapted. I've grown. We've evolved. This system is designed to lead someone, i.e. rescue personnel through a home to exactly where you are in the home. Imagine the layout of the home is complex or people are hidden somewhere in the home. It's hard to be like, they're in the kitchen. Well, where's the kitchen? They're in the closet. Well, where is the closet? Or they're in the washroom. Where is the washroom in the house? It is very, very difficult for them to figure that out unless they already know the layout of the home. And that's why this system is so, so important because it is a system designed to be adaptive to the home's environment and smart enough to indicate to a rescue personnel where you are in the house using visual cues. I am so excited to bring you guys today's stream and today's test protocol, the yellow brick road protocol. I'm proud to present to you guys my early working prototype of this potentially life saving system. Let me show you guys this brand new protocol. We're going to be using this Coke can. This is our point of reference. You can imagine the Coke can as a uh, where your would be rescuers are coming from. I'm going to turn it over here for now. Just start off in my office. I've got an LED strip here. This LED strip goes from here all the way up the side, all the way up the back, all the way down to here on the ground. I'm just gonna show you guys how the system works. It calculates four different things. One, the position of the can, which we know is gonna be right over here. The position of my body, my person, where I am. Position number three, the orientation and alignment of the LED strip. And position number four, the point on the LED strip that the, the, the original signal orientates from. Now, you'll, it'll all make sense as we go through things, but let me show you guys the basic working principle of this system. Evie, activate yellow brick road protocol. Affirmative. Now activating yellow brick road protocol. Serial bus 9300 port 3 comes 1522. Ready body tracking 1. Ready body tracking 2. Now beginning LED. Strip location verification. One moment, please. Verification complete. Test 89, position vector 14. Now beginning pulse check. One moment, please. Pulse check verification complete. The test is ready to begin whenever you are, sir. This is my first take, an adaptive LED system. Watch this. The red can over here is representative of the front door. Okay. And I am the, the person in need. Watch this. If I stand over here, Evie, calculate my relative position. Affirmative. Location confirmed. Please follow the light. Please follow the light. Please follow the light. I know what you guys are saying. Now it's a very simple system to just turn on a string of LEDs. What makes it better, what makes it smart, what makes it adaptive, what makes it useful is this part right here. Check this out. If I take the can, our stand-in rescuers, and I put the can over here. If I move over here to this side. Affirmative. Recalculating. 
Please follow the light. Please follow the light. Please follow the light. <laughs> it adaptively figures out where I am in the, the corresponding area on the lights. And it determines how to guide from point A to point B. <laughs> now, I know what you're all thinking. Kenny, it's pretty cool, right? But now everyone's gonna have an LED strip that's going from their front door exactly to their washroom, to their kitchen, to every point in their house. It's too complicated. That's why I went one step further. That's why I went one step further. Let's just say we take the can, our would-be rescuer. Let's say we put it here, right in the middle of the track. <laughs> oh, baby. And I stand over here. <laughs> Evie, recalculate. Affirmative. This is super cool. <laughs> Let's just, okay, I'll stand over here for easy, for easy, easy stake here. Recalculating. Location confirmed. Please follow the light. Please follow the light. Please follow the light. <laughs> it calculates based on the mathematics of the location of the object along or nearby the strip. How cool is that? So no matter where you are along the strip, no matter where you are in the house, it can calculate it as long as there's one or two or three or at most 120 different light sources in the house. Now, I hear what you're saying. Kenny, this is pretty cool, but not everyone's gonna have an LED strip in their house. Guys, I've also made it work with smart home lights. I've also made it work with garage door openers. I've also made it work with smart stair lights, night lights, dildos. I've made this thing work with so many different things. <laughs> if it lights up, you can make it work with it. If it has a plug-in system, you can make it work with it. You can make it work with a lot of different things. Because I realize that not everyone's gonna have the same stuff in their house. So exactly, even if it's just regular lights, as long as it has some form of connecting to the internet or a, or a cluster system, you can make it work. You can make it work. Even if you, see, look at this, watch. <laughs> watch this, this is, oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Location confirmed. Please follow the light. <laughs> Please follow the light. <laughs> so, Wherever, Please follow the light. wherever someone is in their home, we can make it trace and adaptively trace within their home. Now, the really cool part about this whole thing is that you think about it this way. If I install a system into your house, the system has to be able to understand what it's looking at, where things are, and then map it out itself. If it were just a normal system, every time it gets installed into the house, you would have to be there where in the house programming and be like, this is where the, the on LED number 64, that's where the kitchen is, or LED number blah, blah, blah is where this thing is. You have to do that yourself. But if, since it's all integrated into the EV system, and EV can identify things like pots and pans, bed sheets, pillows, shoes, front doors, door jams, door frames, all these little things, she can actually map out an entire house on her own and then map out digitally where on the LED strip something is. That initial pulse in the beginning is what she does it. So she pulses every light in the house. She records every single frame. And based on the recording of the frames, where in the house that light blips up, according to her relative reference. And then she designates that as the kitchen, as the washroom, as washroom number two, as washroom number three, as washroom number four. And once she has that, that data, she can just map out the entire house where each individual LED is. For example... We can even, like, and for, you know what? Where do we want to put this on the LED strip? Someone, someone point this up. Someone pick a spot. <laughs> Where do we want this on the LED strip? Because this is, this is a really cool. Guitars? All right. 
I'll put it right here. Next to the guitars. All right, Cowboy. Cowboy Gilbert, guitars. <laughs> it has to be in view of the camera. I'm still working on the, the, the complexities of it. But for simple purposes, I'll put it right there so that the camera can see it properly. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> Recalculating. Location confirmed. Please follow the light. <laughs> Please follow the light. Bam, baby! <laughs> Please follow the light. Based on where individual items are, we can calculate where it starts. And therefore, no matter where the uh, the rescuer is in the home, uh, the rescuer comes in from the back door or from your basement door, right? What if they come in from your garage door? That is the, the key point to all this is that they can also move wherever I am and where I can move and move where they are. So no matter where the starting point is and no matter where the end point is, starting point, end point, she can calculate the shortest distance to where you are in the home. How amazing is that? Could you imagine a rescuer comes into a home, a speaker is telling it to follow the light, follow the light, follow the light. As a rescuer, I would come and be like, whoa, like, okay, there's a, there's a light. There's a light. I, I, I follow the light. Okay. And it leads you directly to where someone is. Let's just say someone was passed out behind the couch. Let's just say someone had got stuck in the furnace room. Let's just say someone got, you know, like someone was in danger in a really convoluted place. It could help so many people. They could help save so many lives. If anyone has any questions, let me know. The one thing I was going to test, and I, I don't have my roommate here with me, is what if there are two people in the house? I, I need to make a blow-up doll. We're going to science the shit out of this thing. Oh, baby. Oh, don't you worry. You just, you just get your ass over here. Oh, God, I wish I had a... Oh, I need to buy a blow-up doll. For science. We need a sex doll. Okay. What I can do is make a second me. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby, you're coming tonight. Beautiful. You? Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Nice cock. Let's try. <laughs> Somebody say science. I will put the can in the middle so it's easy for us to see. Evie, recalculate. Evie, recalculate. Affirmative. Sir, I have detected multiple endpoint signatures. This constitutes Sarah X100000615. We will be running experimental fix test 15 version 3.8 prototype 3. Shall we proceed? <laughs> Send it! <laughs> Send it! <laughs> Affirmative. Now running experimental fix 15. Multiple locations confirmed. Come on! Please follow the lights. No! Please no! follow the lights. <laughs> oh no! Please follow the lights. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> so it's detecting both of us. So I know that for sure that it's detecting the other... Live! Please follow hey! the lights. Please follow the lights. Please follow the lights. <laughs> I, I, I can find your dog, I can find your gerbil, I can find your hamster, I can find your dog, I can find your... I can find everything! I can, I can find... I can... I gotta be honest with you guys, I did not think that would work out. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it.
love you, Ken. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, that is that is so cool. What about two? What about two? Yes. What about Toucan? Toucan Sam. Will it point the light source to me? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I want... I want... <laughs> Bear with me here. I'm gonna stand in the middle. I want the lights to intersect into me. I want the lights inside of me. Penetrate me, lights! Penetrate me. Yes! I love science so much. I will stand right here in the middle. All right. Evie, recalculate. Affirmative. Recalculating. Undefined. Test. 1. Version 1.0. Prototype 1. Shall we proceed? <coughs> uh, send it! <laughs> Affirmative. Now running experimental fix. We have encountered an error. 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 Please follow there. Lights. Dude. Why are you red? <laughs>